Today we're going to look at equivalent number sentences and how we can use addition and subtraction to keep number sentences equivalent. So let's start off and discuss what equivalent means. Equivalent means equal or balanced. And when we're writing number sentences, we use the equal sign to show that one side of the equation is equal to the other side. And that means that it's equivalent. We can think of it like a set of scales where they're balanced because they're both equal. If we want to keep a number sentence balanced, let's look at what happens when we start adding in numbers. If I put a one and a two on this side, what happens? Well, our number sentence is no longer balanced. So what would we have to do to make our number sentence balanced again. What mystery number would go in the blue box? Well, a three would go there because I know that if I add one and two together, that equals three. We can write this as an equation or a number sentence like the one below. One plus two equals three. Let's look at another example. Remember again, we want to keep our number sentence balanced. So let's add on our numbers. This time I have a 10 and a two on one side and an eight on the other. This equation is also not balanced. So what do we need to do to balance our number sentence again? Well, we need to add both sides. This left hand side, the 10 plus the two equals 12. So we want the other side to equal 12 as well. We already have an eight there. So what number will go in the red box this time to make the number sentence equivalent? Well, eight plus four equals 12. So we're going to put a four in that box. Let's look at how we write this as a number sentence. 10 plus two equals four plus eight. We can say this because both sides are equal to 12. Now let's look at how we can use subtraction in the same way to keep our number sentences equivalent. Now I have blocks on my scales and I can see that they're not equivalent. What number can I take away to make these equivalent? We have tens on both sides of the equation. So all we need to do is get rid of that extra one. See ya. Now the equation is balanced. We can write this as a number sentence. 10 equals 11 minus one because both sides of the equation are now equal to 10.